Well, I'm here in the lab with a big guy that has big snakes. So cue the intro, dive on in. So today, Matt is gonna give us the rundown on short tails, what they're about, what he's working with, and give me an education. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. Matt can share the information. Hand it off to Matt, brother. Thanks for coming by, bro. Let's yeah, do for this. sure. Let's do this. Um, so I guess the first thing to start with is, is that there is, you know, short tails is, a, is, is what you would call an umbrella term. There is Python Bronner's my Python Brightenstein eye, or Brightensteiny, however you want to say it, um, as well as Python Curtis. And we're working with all three of those. So I guess we'll pull out a couple really nice uh, Bronner's my, um, which is just a regular blood python. We'll let you see some uh, Zach Green animals. Um, Zach Green is an amazing breeder out of Texas. He's been doing it for a very, very long time. Now to get this, there was just one clutch like this. And he just called it the oddball clutch because it came from a Kevin Martyr animal to a VP. A couple, I mean the whole lineage. The good thing about when you really mess with good, good quality, quality short tail breeders is you'll get things like this and i'll let you get a picture of that to show everybody but that's right. a lineage sheet for these animals we'll make sure we'll make sure we get a picture of that so i'm going to ask some noob questions along the way since i'm a ball python guy so how old is this animal right here roughly it's a 2020 um so it's pretty stout already it is it is you know it, it's a good eater um i don't Definitely don't power feed. I do feed them once a week, but it's you know It's important to be able to read your animal. It won't hurt them to go about 10 days um, You know for 14 days not gonna hurt them okay. You know when they get older and here in a little bit we'll, we'll look at some bigger animals but uh, when they get older, they can definitely eat every three weeks. You know, the the uh, the, the the magic behind a short tail is being able to read your animal as well as knowing them, their body weight, how they carry their weight, paying attention to their uh, you know bowel movements is very important. One thing that a lot of people, if you don't know about short tails, is they don't use. The bathroom that much and when they do it's like an elephant crap <laughs> <laughs> in the, uh, for better better so, words so uh, defined by not that much is it like once a, like once five every times couple, a year five times a year. maybe i mean that's what so i have once gathered. every two or three months roughly yeah, yeah. The, uh, so you have to think about how slow that metabolism is so is that like something that common how she just got her tongue out oh, well she, you see how they're long flicks yeah you want to read her body. Her heart's not beating fast. You can see right here her heartbeat. Now if that was pounding, her tongue's not flicking. She's doing good. She's now she has had an attitude. It's all about reading your animal, you know? It's all about reading your animal. And if you pay attention to things like the eyes right here above her eyes how it has that really nice red right there yeah that comes from the martyr and that's just line bred animals so such a such an amazing example and that's again a zach green reptiles animal beautiful beautiful animal all right what's this sexy thing right here matt all right so this is a T negative. His name is Mr. Flexington. Just because he is amazing. And he's got a good, good disposition. A lot of these animals break the the whole, oh my blood python's gonna kill me. As long as <laughs> you know you go in there with confidence, you go in there with respect, you read your animal, 
I love the eyes on him. Oh, man. Man. Eyes are, especially the, him being albino. The whole head is just insane. So, yeah, this is a T negative. This is a Tarosin negative instead of Tarosin positive. And you can see what it does with the tail. The tail is just going to continue to get wider and wider and wider. Right. And there is some that are just completely orange. This one is a very, very, in my opinion, he, I'm biased just because he's my guy. But there's some that are just so insanely beautiful. Um, this male comes from a couple really quality breeders animals. Um, I got it through a good buddy of mine um, but I believe it was produced by a CBE animal and a John Guile animal the contrast on that is like insane man oh it's, dude it's sick what you really like to want to see is nice nice reds and browns through there you know um, yeah. The female always usually stays soaking, but he's really nice. The head shape, the head patterns, just like the way the eyes are on these, man, they're definitely they're, beautiful. They're amazing. So, well, the good thing about a golden eye is that it has a super form. Now, a super golden eye. So this is a morph? Yes. This okay. is not wine bread. Just like the T positive, um, it is essentially a morph, yes. So this is a golden eye. Now he's gonna, he is not as calm. He's just a little, you know, energetic, not bitey, but that is the super form of a golden eye. You can see long tongue flicks, those are always good. He's checking everything out. As Kevin McCurley would say, he's in thinking mode right now, and that's where we want him. So do they just call it a super golden eye? They call it a magpie. I'm magpie. sorry I didn't All say right. that. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. This is a magpie. This is a, a VPI magpie from two um, VPI golden eyes straight from Miss Barker. Produced by Tony Jones Reptiles. Very, very amazing, credible breeder out of Chattanooga area. It's extremely badass. And do you see this uh, nice little bulge? When, yeah. When you see, you know, he's kind of a little on the chunkier side, but it's important to always see, God, yeah. you know, whoa. it's always important to have that spine showing. Um, some guys believe the more the better, you know, I, uh, I feed these guys once every seven to 10 days. Um, you know, and I think that's something that should be talked about immediately. Uh, you know, is the feeding patterns. I don't think we've covered that yet. No. So unlike ball pythons, uh, it's important to to maintain a certain body condition with these snakes so if you are going to go buy these snakes make sure you talk to the breeder on the feeding patterns of these snakes you don't want to get them obese that's for sure yeah because that's bad that 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 can that can that can be really bad um you know and as you you hit the nail on the head the most important thing when it comes to python bronner's mind bright and steiny uh, Brightensteiny, 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 uh, fucking Python Curtis, um, go through quality people, reach out to people and be like, this is what I'd like to have, you know, um, Blood Pythons, the Facebook group ran by Kara Norris and a couple different moderators is amazing for that. There's like a, a thread of great breeders reach out to me i'll hook you up with some amazing people nick Bettini, zach green um ryan rumbley's about to have some stuff drop uh you know the blood cell blood bloodpythons.com karen norris so quick question would you recommend any kind of short tail python as a beginner species no all right no i wouldn't I, I would make sure you have some sort of knowledge of at least like keeping an animal 
prior to entering into the short tail world. Now, you know, do I think they make great pets? Yes, yeah. but they require certain things, you know. Um, like right now, it's 81 in here. So, we've been looking at the small short tails up to this point. Yeah. At some point, we're going to look at big ones. So, that's something else to consider before anyone goes running out and buying them. They do get bigger than ball pythons. Exactly. I mean, they, they're going to take up some room later on. So, that's just think about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, uh, man, it... And you know, we'll look at different stages. You've seen yearlings essentially. Now this guy is literally amazing. Um, I'll Big, him up. yeah. All right, so what I do, one thing that's pretty important is I always let them know I'm here and then just reach in and get them. All right. That's one thing that you have to have with these guys is confidence and you have to realize that see okay he's turning his head towards you good <laughs> <laughs> but this is a vpi stripe um it only breaks here it breaks towards the head um he's never even struck at me he's a pretty good boy if he was really pissy he'd whip, whip his tail down uh, but you see how big he is you know just for a reference i have a big ass hand and yeah yeah. Oh, there's so many beautiful animals. All right, so this is another blood python, Bronger's my. This is what's called a batik. This guy, do you see how he has that? I know, buddy, I know. That's a crazy speckling pattern, man. It's like a granite Burmese or a something. I don't even know it. That's a batik, 100% head teapaws. Look at that head, man. That's crazy. So is... The batik, is that a morph or a line bread? Yeah, yeah. That's a morph. That's a morph. The only thing that's line bred is a lot of stuff that like Karen Norris is doing. Um, you know, there's line bred Kevin Martyr stuff, you know, and those are all <laughs> people would consider them normals, but they're the nicest animals you can get. Um, anything that TBC you know creates is just amazing anything that mr martyr does is just awesome so that is a slack line animal um the slack line project is a vpi project tracy barker imported the animal there's levels to it there's slack line which would be level one there's level two and then there's level three this okay. is a level two okay so do you see how it connects here it connects right there to the bottom yeah that's what that's one thing you're looking for because you'll notice in the other one it was a straight line right right okay well how it's connecting that makes it a level two okay we're gonna go ahead and put her up this is the future in my opinion of blood pythons this is what's called a pollen he is hip for flower back if anybody doesn't understand what a flower back is uh they have a write-up vpi does on their website about exactly what it does the potential of it um I'm just going to say from a, a non short tail guy this thing is phenomenal man like the oh, reds yeah. to the creams to the pinkish head with the little sliver of cream right there like man this thing is badass yeah and I don't I mean, even know what I'm talking about I mean <laughs> look at the sides man like up here oh, look at these this thing's sick and he's pretty chill he's pretty chill once you kind of you know long tongue flicks you're looking for not crazy body funk not crazy body movements you know um, you'll notice again that really really defined spine yeah so important man so important not many people are working with this it's uh it's a pretty big deal project to be honest with you look at the sides of his neck look at the side look at look at that red in there man it's like there's nothing like that dude yeah no, yeah no. i mean you're not going to find that there, there's a couple species i'm sure that you could find that in but not many man so this is this is a pollen 
het albino. I will go ahead and tell you it's a het albino. Um, and you'll see they all have different personalities. This guy's a little bit more energetic than the other. Yeah. But this is a level two slack line. Het T paws, het hypo. Now this came from Nick at Cold Blooded Earth. And this is the only male that has been sold to work the project with Nick. Me and Nick are working it. That is cool. Yeah, man. Uh, so we're going to be doing some things in the future there. He was soaking, so that's why he's wet. So what do you think? You think we should show him the big ones now? First things first, we're going to show you B. Anybody that hasn't been to my channel yet. This is the girl who I'm waiting on for my first clutch. She she is big. Big. And she is full of babies. You see how yes. big my hand is? All these babies. Look at all that. She is, oh, bro, she's so, so thick. How many eggs do they drop? Like 20? Yeah. Um, between, you know... <sighs> As long as they're all viable, I mean, I've heard of upwards into the 20s, you know. Um, so, we'll go ahead and look at the beast down here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stand back a bit. This is a 2014 uh, Martyr Genetic Strike. She is actually that one's great-grandmother or grandmother. She has definitely a little bit of a uh, attitude, but oh, she is beautiful though. Look at that dark head. Uh, the dark head, the stripe. I love stripes. Everything about this animal is amazing. Besides her attitude, I think that really covers the bronze in the room. Uh, so. Do me all a favor, I'm gonna leave all of Matt's information in the description down below. If you're not already subscribed to his YouTube channel, get over there and subscribe. He's got a great channel. He's a natural in front of the camera, man. I've told him since day one, like, you got a talent. So you need to go over there and watch his channel. There's a whole bunch of videos over there. Go follow him on Instagram. Thanks for having me over here, brother. Yeah, bro, man. It's good having you. And uh, until next time, rock on. <laughs>